This is Coyote News. The wave of presidential candidates and attention on Iowa has faded as the votes have been cast. Coyote News' Michael Guerin joins us from Sioux City, Iowa with the latest. On Monday, the world got to see how the Iowa caucus process works, including their unconventional ways of picking candidates sometimes, like a coin toss. Delegate for this precinct is Hillary Clinton. Um, there is a tendency for people to believe, uh, or more to believe, that this sort of, uh, this is just the most extreme of the extreme of the parties, and so it's not really representative anymore as much as it maybe used to be. On the Republican side, Senator Ted Cruz took first place in the Iowa caucuses. Donald Trump came in second, which was unexpected, and Senator Marco Rubio, the establishment candidate, came in third place. The Democrats were in a virtual tie until early Tuesday morning when it was determined that Hillary Clinton won on a very small margin. This is when it happens pretty quickly, right? Because you have Iowa, New Hampshire, then Nevada, then South Carolina, then uh, Super Tuesday in the South, and you know that's that's when some the Republicans still have what 11 candidates. Some of them will start dropping out fairly soon. They did drop out pretty quickly. Governor Martin O'Malley left the contest for the Democrats on Monday night. On the Republican side, Mike Huckabee, Rick Santorum, and Rand Paul have dropped out of the race. While Iowa remains the first in the nation to be casting their ballots for the president, South Dakota is one of the last. The primaries will be on June 7th in South Dakota. Reporting from Sioux City, Iowa, I'm Michael Guerin for Coyote News. The Democrats' next debate will be tomorrow at 8 on MSNBC and the Republicans' ace of Saturday on ABC News.